Welcome to Real People, Real Voices. I'm your host, James Jackson. I'm your co-host, Pastor Wayne Moore. Always a pleasure to host with you. Good to be with you, my brother. Well, we've got a great show lined up. Yeah, we got a great show lined up. I mean, I'm just excited about what's happening with this young man. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been in our community for some time. He's uh, had a plethora of businesses, but now he's, his main business has always been men's garments. Mm -hmm. And so today he's coming on to tell us what's going on. He's been out in the Couchland area now for about a year now. And now we're going to find out what's happening because he's a sponsor of this show now. Yeah, and his family has been doing this for a long, long time. Long time, yes. He inherited the mindset from his dad. Now he's transitioning that to his son. So it's going to be something to uh, hear today about how it's going. Yeah, so we won't give it all away now. No, we, we want won't. to thank our sponsors. Yeah, we want to thank Lee Crossick and Crawley for being with us. Fervent Care Christian Academy is with us again, and Marion County Public Health Department, and Owls Modern Clothing and shoes are with us today. Yeah, so we outfit the whole man. The whole man. A gentleman gets dressed up. He's going to tell us more about that. Yes. And he's bought with him a mannequin. That cannot speak. But it's very well. <laughs> but it's, you know. It's clean, though, Doc. It's clean. The mannequin cannot speak, but it speaks. It speaks. <laughs> <laughs> My so God. So please be sure to uh, check us out on YouTube. Go to WHMB TV 40. You can watch this show after it's over as well as other shows that you might have missed. Also, please like us. On Facebook. On We're Facebook. there. We're there. And you'll see some things happening on there every time we are doing what we're doing. Yeah. Thank you for a great year last year. We're anticipating a wonderful year going forward. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back to Real People, Real Voices, and we are joined by Mr. Alfonso Wright, president of Owl's Modern Clothing and Shoes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Clothing for the whole man. Exactly. So uh, I'm excited about this. Um, I'm what you call a clothes horse or whatever else people might call it. I love clothing, particularly suits. Mm -hmm. And back, uh, Dr. Moore, um, mm -hmm. years and years and years ago, um, even preachers, particularly, mm -hmm. didn't leave the house without a suit on. No, no. Now it's a it's totally different ball game now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, normally, uh, preachers my age, uh, which is you know thirty nine years old, uh, <laughs> we still uh, um, are very very much uh, familiar with the suit and tie. And so, uh, well, you know, Reverend Girton, uh, uh, some yeah. of those guys, they still you never see wear those guys every without day. yeah. You know, we try to do a little casual every now and then, and they remind us, you know, you need to get a towel on, young man, you know. <laughs> uh, but uh, Al's been in the business a long time. He's uh, put a lot of clothes on a lot of preachers. Yes. And uh, he's back at it again out in the council area, 6036 East 82nd Street. Uh, he's there, started in 1969. His dad brought him along. Uh, and uh, tell us what's happening at the new store. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back open again. Um, as some people may know, I was, the store used to be called Players Modern Clothing. Right. Um, and it's now Al's Modern Clothing. And I've opened up uh, in 2018 of October. Right. And um, so it's, it's been a little bit over a year now that I've been back open in the, uh, in the Castleton area. But uh, things are going great. Good. Yeah. Good. So how did you get into, of course, you have a history, but how did you uh, develop a passion and an interest in men's clothing? Um, like like Pastor was saying, uh, my dad started this in 1969, and um, I was born a few years before then. But uh, so I've been around it all my life, um, and, and it's, it's a passion that I have. Uh, my dad has it, uh, had it, still has it. I got it. My son, I bought him a board as well. So um, it's just it's just been in the family. So yeah. And actually, Dad told me when I was just a kid, he says, hey, um, you're going to run the family business one day. You go to school, get your college degree, I'm going to help you get a store. So that's how I actually got started my first store. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's, very, that's very, very important. And what, what, what would you say to a lot of what we're seeing today where it's dressed down, it's, it's casual, um, particularly on Sundays when folk go to church, mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of T-shirts, jeans. Yeah. yeah. Does that make it challenging to do what you do? 
it does make it a little bit more challenging. Um, however, you still have those people that still want to wear um, um, their suits. Sunday um, best. Yeah, you know, um, you still want to do it. And I always tell people you only get one time to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you're going to an event and if you should have on a suit, then, hey, so be it, you know. And what are you all doing with regard to young people and making sure that young men particularly understand the importance of that first impression? Um, actually, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm uh, getting ready to start a program uh, next month where the third uh, Saturday of each month, I'm going to have it in my store from 12 to 2 where you can bring your children in and I can show them how to tie ties and talk to them about, you know, clothing and, um, and things along those lines and just letting them know the importance of it. You know, um, they tell them about what they need to wear as far as going on an interview. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, if they're going to go on a, on a date, if you're going to a, a funeral, a wedding, you know, these places, are, are you don't want to go there with a T-shirt on. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and now you got some of these kids, they literally think that I've had them coming to my store with their parents and they're wanting to wear, a, you know, a, a casual, like, shirt and some jeans. You know what I'm saying? You're going on an interview. You know, and even with that, you should have them with maybe a certain color. You know, you don't want to go, you want to have maybe navy blue or gray or what have right. you. But, but um, you know, so it's just really educating them so they can know. So when they come in the store on those that third Saturday, with me teaching them about the tie ties and what have you, I also can educate them on other things as it relates to um, the clothing industry. Outstanding. And certainly when we start, start talking about how we package ourselves, mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Moore and I, we do a youth employment program, mm -hmm. and part of the men mentoring component, we talk to the young ladies and the men, particularly young men, about properly packaging themselves. Right. So your, your um, perspective on how we're doing with that in society, where uh, it has been reported that more than 80%, particularly in the black community, mm -hmm. more than 80% of these households are single female head of household. Yes. I know I grew up and my father would have on uh, French cuff shirts. Yes. Um, French cuff shirts. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I, didn't know, I didn't know that a French cuff suit even existed. Of course, you don't see those too much anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, he had, it was green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I remember that. It was sharp. But my uncle, he was the same way. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'll never forget it. My uncle told me, uh, when you wear your pocket silk, or they did handkerchiefs, and mm -hmm. he was from the Kennedy years. Okay. And he said, he said, uh, you know, it just comes up a little bit above the pocket there, and that's for the intelligent eye. So your, your perspective on how our society is doing with that and how you can change it. Um, the society now, because everything is on the phones, you know what I mean? Um, you got so many people that are looking at their phones and um, looking at social media to get their ideas about certain things. But, and that's why I think it's very important for, to just let these men know um, to help out these youngsters so that they can know how to go about doing things. And then like you were saying, as far as some of these single parent households, um, well, with these females, I think it's best for us to go ahead and become like mentors mm -hmm. uh, to these other young guys um, and let these kids know what they can do or how they should go about doing things um, as it relates to being a man and getting out there in the world and, uh, and making things happen. Very, very important. And in just a little bit, you've brought a uh, mannequin with us and want, want you to kind of take us through uh, the various aspects of what the mannequin has on and what it's saying okay. mm -hmm. about yeah. um, you know, if it was on me or on Dr. Moore, what that says to people. It would fit about him better. <laughs> but we well, don't. this particular one. Yeah, this particular <laughs> But you do bespoke, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or do you yeah. do what for? What, what uh, you call Bespoke. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. I, do, I, yeah, I do custom suits as well. Yeah. 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 yeah that's good to yeah. know. Yeah. Yes. A bespoke suit always fits. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, so uh, your, your family being in the business um, for so long, What's been the best part of it? Um, the, the best part of it is just me literally getting to just work with my dad, you know, um, uh, to, to work with him um, and to get started in this business. And then uh, to the point now where my son is working with me, mm -hmm. um, you know, at the store. So it's just uh, just to keep that going. And, uh, you know, that's that's the best thing is just where you can keep the family business going. Like I tell my son, I want to make it when I'm no longer around where I can have the, the company to where it can do for the for the rest of the family. Your favorite yeah. color suit? Uh, blue. Blue? Yeah. Okay. Blue's my favorite color. So. Blue's your favorite color? Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you something. That's the, I don't know if it's the, the correct way to, to, to describe it, the, the, the thin cuts, uh, what would mm -hmm. they call it, the narrow quarter? Uh, yeah, that's, it's, 
I tell people this, styles with an S change, but style never does. Yeah. You know, I, I know you both can remember when they was wearing bell bottoms, mm -hmm. right. you know, and platform shoes. Right. I never forget when my dad came home and told me that they was gonna stop selling platform shoes or stop making them and they was getting ready to go to this pointed toe shoe with a low heel. And I was like, no way. He was like, no, that's getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. But that style change, and that's the way it is now. So if you see a person walking around with some platform shoes on some bell bottoms, you're gonna be like, he's, you know, because that's out of style. Mm -hmm. So this, what you're seeing, is a new style. Now it's not fit for everybody. Right. I wear my clothes a little slimmer now than what I used to. I don't wear them super slim, mm -hmm. but I still wear them to where I'm still in fashion. Mm -hmm. And so that's what you got to do. You just got to get in where you fit in. So you don't want to go. I don't think any one of us want to have where our pants are hugging our ankles and all of that. But we still can have it where it's tapered and yeah. still have a nice look. All right, yeah. so we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Okay. Stay with us, we'll be back after this. Welcome back to Real People, Real Voices, and we just have a wonderful treat uh, for you. Uh, Al's Modern Clothing, Dr. Moore and Shoes. Yeah. And um, Al has a mannequin here. So what do you got here for us? Um, this here is our mannequin. And uh, a lot of times people have a tendency to think that if you're going to go somewhere and you're going to put on a nice business suit, that it, it can't have any details. You know, it just has to be just something solid. Well. I want to just let people know that you can actually put patterns and stripes and checks, you can put them all together and it can actually work. You know, everybody came in and said how nice this was, but what a lot of people didn't notice was that this, this is a pinstripe suit, and it's what they call a banker stripe because this is a pinstripe suit that a banker actually could wear at work mm -hmm. because their stripes are really close together. That's why I call it a banker stripe. But it's a check shirt, and then you also have polka dot tie. But when you came in, no, no, nobody here said anything about that. They just said, oh, man, that's really, really nice. But if somebody was to tell you, hey, I want to put a suit on with a polka dot tie and a check shirt and some stripes. You're going to be like, man, that's going to look crazy. But as you can see, it can look well, and this can be something that you actually could wear to a business meeting. And it used yeah. to be where socially you couldn't put pattern on pattern. Right. How, right. Much, how much does psychological obsolescence has to do with people accepting these kind of changes. And, and just like I was saying how it's what, eight or nine of us in this room here and, and everybody came in, nobody really said anything about that because it's settled. Mm -hmm. See, if it was some big bold stripes, that's why they call the banker stripers where they're close together. But if it was some big bold stripes, obviously you couldn't do that. But you just have to make it to where it's more settled and then you can do that and that's where you get into the point to where you're starting to exude your fashion uh, sense. Now, now the, you're, you've got the pocket square going there on mm -hmm. your suit, but then you've got something different on the mannequin. What, what is that? Right, this is just, just a, a per personal preference. Um, mm -hmm. You got some people that don't, some, you got a lot of people that don't even like to do pocket squares. Mm -hmm. But you know, but I'm saying, but you still can. Um, if I was going to a business meeting, I probably wouldn't do this pocket square the way this one here is. I would probably do it the way the one is there on my suit. Okay. Yeah. And you've got the uh, flower men used to actually have uh, real flowers on. Yeah. But you've got something else yeah, going Yeah, and the lapel pin is just an accessory. Um, it's, it's, now it's getting to the point where people are starting to want to accessorize their, 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 their suits and what have you, because they're not trying to look like everyone else. And it's just somebody, sometimes just a personal touch. You got some people that do it and get a lot of compliments. The next thing you know, I've had people that come into my store, and after they get one, they get compliments. Oh, I want to get one of those that go with all my suits. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And it's, and it's inexpensive as well. Now, what does it take for a young man to get in, a, in, a, in an outfit like that? When you what, say, would, what I mean by what it take, you know, you know, out modern clothing, is it reasonable or uh, really expensive? Uh, I mean, well, it, definitely. Um, just Black Friday, I just I had suits for ninety nine dollars. Wow. Yeah, wow. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the guys that you guys work with came in and got one for <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, but it's, it's I, I make it to where it's reasonable. Um, most people think that when you start looking at a suit, it got to be some always three, four, five hundred dollars. That's not the case. Yeah. You know, you can get you something and just that's, that doesn't have to cost all that money. And you know, and, and that's one of the, the drawbacks for young people. Yeah. They think a suit is three, four, five, six hundred dollars. And, and so now you basically tell them you can outfit them, uh, accessorize them for maybe 125, 150 bucks. Exactly. Because I, I got a, right now at my store, I got a rack where it's a suit that's just suits are 125 bucks on this certain rack. So it's my clearance rack, but I do make it to where it can be affordable. 
Mm. And of course, Christmas is coming up. Yes. And, and uh, folk are gonna need to yeah. get some nice clothing and they can come by and you work with just about any budget. I, I definitely will, yeah. yeah. Um, not only do you have the suit going over there, but you've got some shoes yeah. uh, there. Yeah, the, nice. those, those shoes, they're really nice. Um, there's Meslins. The Meslins are really nice um, shoe that's actually made in Spain. You're selling Meslin? Yeah, that's, that's Meslin. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Meslin, I also sell uh, other Italian shoes. But then I got some of the other, you know, domestics that are, you know, that are well, Meslin, reasonably priced. Meslin is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Those are Meslins there? Yeah. yeah. He what's, said he had some that were reasonably priced. What size is that? <laughs> what size is that? <laughs> I might have to walk out of here with those. Yeah. Um, one of our producers, uh, Curtis, has gotten into ascots. Yes. Uh, he used to be a bow tie guy. Uh-huh. Um, so you have all that kind of stuff, too? Yes. As a matter of fact, uh, I've, Curtis has bought three or four or five ascots for me in the last couple of weeks. And he's been moving up. Yeah, he's been yeah. moving up yeah. in the world. <laughs> I, I see. I, I see. We have to be very cautious of who. He's got the Christmas colors on. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we, as far as um, someone comes in, they get the suit, what about hymns, taking the clothes? Uh, alterations. alterations. Yeah, I, I take care of all that. Um, um, and I also educate the people. So, a lot of times you might have a, you know, a, a wife will come in, um, you know, a uh, daughter come in to get something for the dad or what have you, I'll educate them on, on you know, the things that they would want to get, you know, for uh, the person that they're shopping for. Mm -hmm. You know, so if they're, and, they're, and a lot of times it's going to be like them letting me know where they're going. And then if I know, and then I get an idea and, they, and I'll ask them a few questions about the person just to get a feel for his personality. And from that alone, I can put that person in the right suit. You monogramming shirts too? Oh, yeah. Really? I do custom suits and custom shirts as well. Wow. Yeah. If you get a custom suit, you get your custom shirt for free. Oh, did you get that? Did you get that? Got it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the turnover? What's the turnaround? On the custom, custom, suits? custom. Uh, four yeah. weeks. Four weeks. Not yes. bad. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Bad. And you get a personal lining too. So if you want to have a picture of your church in there passed on your line, I can do that for you as well. <laughs> that, would okay. be, that would be that. <laughs> that would be you. <laughs> that would be, see, he got the seal right there. Well, I got my logo. Hey, I'm <laughs> yeah. 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 He put yeah. that right on the lining. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, outstanding socks. Uh, generally, you wear the same. Color socks as the pants? You you do, but nowadays this that's kind of changed. Um, okay. Now they're getting into what they call the the fancy socks, the fun socks, um, a little bit more colorful. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, um, I got on you, some myself now. That. Yeah, okay. but but that's that's just kind of the style. If you when you sit back and you watch the sports, mm -hmm. and you look at their the, and they're sitting there, you see their socks. Sometimes they're like bright orange and red, and you know, like what? But it's, yeah. it's just a popular thing. It's kind of a fad right now, but that's the thing now is that you can't have on some colorful socks and nobody will look at you like there's something wrong. So I like what you got going on here, Al. You, you're doing the notch lapels, which, right. is, which on your, your suit wow. is a little okay. more uh, conservative. Right. Right. But you've got the peak lapels exactly. as well. Right. So that tells me that and you, has you the, have diversity. And he has the, he has the standard fly. Now, this is a, a more extreme fly on this right. collar here. This is called a fly away, exactly. Fly away, well, yeah, that's what, which was called right. at one time the Pat Riley. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it used to be called the Pat Riley. Uh, do you guys want to come work with me? You have to do a Windsor <laughs> knot. You got to do a Windsor knot with that. You got to do a Windsor with that. Yes. yes. You got to yes. do a Windsor yes. with that. And yes. then the, the collar he has needs to be a Windsor yes. as well. Well, yeah. we're impressed with uh, the product. Yes. Uh, of course, you and the way you've presented yourself. And um, I think uh, we, we are dressed down today. Yeah. But maybe when we come back and do a follow-up show, we can come back dressed up in uh, Owl's modern clothing. Most definitely. Uh, Curtis is already doing it, so uh, That'd be why great. shouldn't we do it? That'd be great. <laughs> all right, so we look That'd forward to doing that. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Al. Thank all you. Right. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, fun show, but hey, if you want to get a new suit for Christmas... It's not too late. It's not too late. And there's a rack there. There's a rack. Clearance. A clearance for 125 bucks. When it's gone, yeah. it'll be gone. It'll be gone. <laughs> so, but he'll probably be able to get some more for you. Please go and support out there uh, in Castleton. The actual address will be on your screen. Let's support. We'll be back with the rundown after this.
All right, welcome back. Uh, I'm James Jackson, your host. I'm your co-host, Pastor Wayne Moore. And I'm Curtis Baker, your fashion model for today, <laughs> it seems like. So we were talking about your new uh, look. fashion, your new look. Well, your you, look. as you know, for the last three years, well, maybe four years, I've been wearing a bow tie. Yes. And, you know, that was proud, your signature. That was my signature, bow tie. And then I said this year, going into 2020, I wanted to kind of do something different. You know, I was wearing my ties, and I found out the ties I had mm -hmm. were too, you know, thick. I'm like, I still had old ties, and the ties now are thinner. So I'm like, I got to buy all new ties. So, you know, and I, I've always had a fascination of these ascots, but I never knew that it was something that you could wear a, all the time or, mm -hmm. you know. And then I went by, uh, well, I tell you, I watch some television shows and you see them wearing ascots. I always thought it was an elegant look. Mm. And uh, went by Al's Modern Clothing, he had ascots. So I ran, I said, Al, how do you, how do you, first of all, how do you, how do you tie this? How do you, how's that, how's that work? So and that's actually tied. It's actually tied. You tie it like a tie. Really? I would show you now, but if I did, I couldn't put it back together. Right, right. But uh, you tie it like a tie. Yeah, but it's a knot under here. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you, it's you almost like a, back, it's like a backwards, backwards tie. tie yeah. It's a backwards tie. And you fit it around. So, how's it look? Good, pretty cool. oh, it looks really good. Okay. It does a lot for you. It becomes you. It becomes me? Because it's going to be my new look. The bow tie didn't do much for you at all. Oh, well, see, but my you should have told the me ascot, that. Yeah, well, I can't do Two that. years <laughs> ago, what I've been wearing. I mean, but <laughs> the, the ascot, man, I mean, it, you know, I mean, you look like Mr. Howell on Good Island. <laughs> and that was the look I'm, that was, that's exactly Not the Roland look Mar I was going for. Roland yeah. Martin is an ascot. Well, yeah, he, he has, but he has to, because he has a real large neck. Yeah. And I don't think ties work on him. Oh. Really? That's the inside. If he's watching, I, you know, that's yeah. what I heard. So you saw, you saw Mr. Howe? I saw Mr. Howe on Gilligan's Island. I always thought that was a good look. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, that was in the 60s. And, you know, things like, and I think I was talking about it earlier, how God rest how, his soul. How uh, things William Harrell was a, uh, a fashion, uh, and he, he taught um, uh, dry cleaning okay. and tailoring at the Christmas Addicts High School back when I, in those days. And he says, never throw anything away. Mm -hmm. He says, every garment has a cycle. Has a cycle. Yeah, he says, every garment has a cycle. And so, he's right about that. Well, the other day, I saw a friend of mine in one of his Church of God in Christ's convention <laughs> outfits. <laughs> <laughs> That was the T.D. Jakes years. Oh, wow. the, the, the blooming pants and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Well, you know, everything comes back. Yeah, I don't think. A I don't, have I'm cycles. not sure if the platform shoes are coming back. I'm not sure. They do in the movies. In the movies. Yeah. I think you'll see them again. I, not on me. <laughs> Actually, I was, uh, I'm, I'm six foot now. Back in the 70s, I was six five. But if Al sells them. Uh, you have to make <laughs> I don't know about that. Thanks for watching the show today. We'll see you next time. Bye. I'm Jeanette. <laughs>